Mavic Air, guys, made a lot of buzz. I actually didn't expect to receive it until the end of month, but it suddenly arrived last week, last Thursday. I quickly shot an unboxing video for Instagram, but didn't actually fly until the weekend, because you know, work, life. It was my family who presented me my first drone. It was Phantom 3 Advanced. And I was crazy about it. It was so amazing, I wanted to use drone everywhere. But very quickly I realized that it's a bit inconvenient to carry this case everywhere. So, unfortunately most of the time Phantom sat down below my desk. Why Mavic Air is such a big deal? Well, for comparison, this is Phantom's case. This is all you need for Mavic. Mavic Air is unbelievably small for what it can do. I can carry it in my coat's pocket, literally. For a person that haven't used Phantom 3 Pro, Phantom 4, Phantom 4 Pro, original Mavic, Mavic Pro and all that fancy stuff, this little drone is actually a huge jump forward. Let me highlight what excites me the most. It has 3-axis gimbal with the camera that shoots 4K 100 megabit footage and can take 12 megapixel stills. It's foldable and it's very portable as I already said. Maximum flight time is 20 minutes, which I think is enough to get some nice shots. With improved flight autonomy 2.0, the drone will bypass obstacles. And it won't stop while in tracking mode like original Mavic is usually doing. It uses gimbal camera, forward, backward and downward facing dual vision sensors, downward infrared sensing system and other out of this world technologies to process, understand and interact with surrounding environment. As you can see on the video, it fights quite strong wind and stays in its position. Overall, I was confident in it despite the strong wind. Controller deserves special mention. Apart from its size, it can become even smaller because you can remove the joysticks from here. Once phone is in your controller, it feels good and comfortable. So there are three ways of controlling your Mavic. You can control it with standard controller and phone, you can control it with phone only and you can control it with gestures only. I will definitely play with gestures, but I think most of the time I obviously will control it using traditional controller. You know, I don't remember a day when I left my house without a camera. Now I'm sure this drone will be with me wherever I go, because seriously, have a look. <laughs> this is like a masterpiece, honestly, for its size and what it can shoot, I'm I'm almost shocked. I think this drone is must have for any content creator out there. Well done DJI, well done you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if what I'm talking about is something you're into. This was a quick tech review from me. Peace.